Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. Today we are going to talk about how to add a custom header in Shopify. In this video, we will demonstrate all the steps needed to create a custom header in your Shopify store, how to create menu items, how to add it to the header and how to customize the header. So watch this video till the end to better understand all these steps. After logging into your Shopify store, click on online store in the left sidebar and then click on the navigation tab. Menus or link lists help your customers navigate around your online store. You can also create nested menus to display drop down menus and group products or pages together. Here you will see all the menus and its items that have been created for your store. By default, there are two types of menus. First is the footer menu, which is only one item, that is search. And the second is the main menu, which has three items that are home, catalog and contact. You can create your own menu and customize it according to your preferences and requirements. To add your own menu, click here on the add menu link. In the next page, here enter the title for your menu. We are entering demonstration menu. And now add the items in this menu. You can create any item and link it to any page in your store, whether it is your product page or your any personal page or any page of a blog. To do so, click here on the add menu item link. A pop-up window will open here. Enter the name of your item. We are entering demo 1 and in the link section select the page that you want to link to it and then click on the add button. Now you can see that the created item has been added to the menu items. You can repeat the same steps for creating more items according to your requirements. We are fast forwarding this part. So these are the main menu items under the main menu. You can arrange its position by dragging it from the left side. You can also create a sub menu under any menu item. To do so, move your cursor at the left corner of the menu item and move it below the main menu item which you want to create as a sub menu and then drag it little towards the right side and drop it. It will be created as a sub menu under the main menu. You can even create a menu under the sub menu item. Just follow the same steps. And when you are done with creating and adding all the menu items, click on the save menu button. Now here you can see that the menus that we had created have been added to the menu list with the menu items that we had created. Now click on the themes tab under online store in the left sidebar. To make any changes in your current theme, we recommend you to make a copy of your current theme. To do so, click on the three dots here and then click on duplicate. Your theme will be duplicated and Shopify will start copying your theme. At any time, if you want to restore your theme, you can use this publish button. Now let's move on to adding a custom header to our Shopify store. Click on the customize button. This is the template editor page. Here you will see the preview of your store. In the left sidebar, there are many tabs of categories for your store. There are tabs for announcement bar, header, image banner, rich text, featured collection, collage, video, multi-column and footer. These are the default sections of your store. If you want to add a new section, then just use this add section button. Now click on the header tab. From the color scheme drop down, you can change the background color of the header. Let's try all the options here. If you select the first option, which is accent one, you will see that the background color of the header has been changed to black. If you select accent two, then the background color of the header will be changed to blue. If you select background one, the background color of the header changes to white. If you select background 2, the background color of the header changes to light gray. 
and if you select the inverse option then the background color of the header will be changed to charcoal black. Here we are continuing with the accent tool option. Now next is the logo section. If you had already added a brand logo to your Shopify store under the profile settings, then it will be shown here and you can apply it. But if you haven't added a brand logo yet, then you can do it using any image as a logo for your store. To do so, click on the change button and click on select image. Under the library tab, you can upload any image and use it as a logo or else you can also use the free stock images under the free images tab. Now select the category suitable for your store. Here we are going ahead and selecting women's fashion. Then scroll down to find a suitable image for your logo. And once you find one, just click on it. You will see its preview on the header. And if you have finalized it, then click on the select button and your selected image will be shown under the logo section. You can also use this slider to adjust the width of the logo. Next is the desktop logo position. From the drop down you can either select top left or top center or middle left or middle center. Next is the menu section. Here you will see the active menu on the header. To change it, Click on the change button and select change menu. Here you will see all the menus that have been created in your store. We can also see our menu that we had created earlier. Select it and then click on the select button at the bottom of the page. Next is the mobile layout section. From the drop down you can change the mobile logo position to center or left. And below are some spacing customizations like bottom margin, top padding and bottom padding. Now we are done with customizing the header. So click on the save button on the top right side and your changes will be saved and will get applied to the store. Now click on the exit icon on the top left corner to go back to your themes page. Now let's take a look at our store. Click on view your store on the top right side and your stores page will be opened in a new tab. Here we can see that the header has been customized with the logo that we had added to the store and here are the menus items that we had created. This is the desktop view of your store but if you want to view a mobile preview of your store, minimize the screen to almost half and it will be optimized for mobile view. You can view the header menu by clicking on the lines at the top left corner. And so our Shopify store is now live with our customized header. With this, we have completed our tutorial on how to add custom header in Shopify. This brings this video to an end. We truly hope you benefited from it. If you have any suggestions or want us to make a video on any specific topic, feel free to comment below. We will see you soon in our next video. Till then, stay tuned and stay subscribed to our channel.